EWTN invites you to join us for benediction and devotions from the Shrine of the Most Blessed Sacrament and Our Lady of the Angels Monastery in Hansville, Alabama. This evening, let us join ourselves to the intention of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, in entrusting and consecrating the world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And tonight, let us pray the second luminous mystery of the Holy Rosary, the wedding at Cana, remembering Mary obtaining this miracle from her son, Jesus, and asking her to intercede for our world, to obtain peace and conversion throughout the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. And the Fatima prayer. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins, sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all sins, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand for the Holy Gospel according to St. John. On the third day, there was a marriage at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus also was invited to the marriage with his disciples. When the wine failed, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to her, O woman, what have you to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Verbum Domini.
In the archives of the Divine Word Missionaries in Chicago, they have the testimony of one of their priests who died in 1984, and he recorded an audio tape around 1964 about a prisoner that he had known and was a chaplain of that prison in Vicksburg, Mississippi. And he had known this prisoner who was on death row and was executed in February of 1944. The prisoner's name was Claude Newman. And in the story, he talks about how Claude, Claude Newman had killed a man, a man who was abusive to his grandmother, and was given the death penalty. And it was while he was in prison, in his cell block, there were four other prisoners, and one of them was a Catholic man who had a miraculous medal. And he asked him what that medal was. Claude knew nothing about faith at all. He knew there was a God, but he didn't know anything about Jesus or anything about the faith. So he simply asked him, what is that medal? And the Catholic man didn't really know, was kind of embarrassed by the question. And so he just pulled off that medal, threw it on the floor, and he said, here, you take it. And so Claude wore it just as simply a decorative thing to wear. And that night he had appearance of Our Lady who said to him that she would be his mother if she wanted and he would be her child if he wanted. And if so, to call for a Catholic priest. And so Father Robert O'Leary was that priest. And at first unconvinced, Claude told him about a vow that Father O'Leary had made during the Second World War to Our Lady. And he told Father O'Leary what that vow was and that Our Lady was still waiting for him to fulfill it. And so he knew that these apparitions of Our Lady were indeed authentic and other things that Claude would know about the sacraments particularly confession and Holy Communion and so on. And when the day of his execution drew near, he was asked if he had one last request, and he said he did. He wanted to have a party with the other inmates because he said, once you see her eyes and her face, you don't want to be without that vision for one more minute. You want to be there. You want to be home with Our Lady, with Our Lord. Well, there was a stay of his execution for two weeks, and he was disappointed, actually. But Father O'Leary asked him to make an offering of that having to wait, as well as his, his own death, for another in inmate who hated him intensely who blasphemed, who hated God and hated Claude to pray for his conversion. And the, when Claude indeed went to his execution in the electric chair, the reporters were surprised at the joy that he had going to his execution. It was some time later that the man who had hated him so intensely was himself about to be executed. And the doctor said, just say one our father, to which he spat in his face and blasphemed. But suddenly he shrieked in horror as he saw Claude and Our Lady and a vision of his place in hell that Claude told him he had obtained for his conversion. And so the man made a confession to Father O'Leary before his own execution. I think in that story, 
that it relates to us Our Lady's role, her powerful role in assisting us. If you want me to be your mother, if you want to be my child, was the first thing that she said to Claude, and something that she says to each of us. And to entrust ourselves to her motherly care, to her powerful intercession. And so we're grateful for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, entrusting our war-torn world with so many tensions and anxieties, entrusting us and consecrating us to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. And let us do the same this day. Let us pray the rosary as she requested so often at Fatima, the anniversary that we celebrate today. She truly is our mother. She truly is powerful intercessor who will assist us in doing whatever Jesus tells us so that we can be more faithful to him and that we can help spread his kingdom throughout the world.
Panam de cielo prestitis Oremos, Deus qui nobis sub sacramentum mirabili, passionis tu in memoriam reliquisti, tribo eque sumus, ita nos corporis et sanguinis tui sacra misteria venerari, ut redemptionis tue fructum in nobis jugiter sensiamus. Qui vivis ad regnas in saecula saeculorum. together. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus and the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even until the end of time. Amen.